and important intersections. Okay, so we finished up the pumpkin farm, really. So now all that's left is to really let it grow. Yeah, Pendleton is really easy to get to uh, from where I live. Because I, I can just hop like two minutes away from my house and I'm like literally on the highway. Uh, provided there's like no major traffic. Because um, the area where I live has like an issue where if you don't like... If you get caught in traffic, you're pretty much stuck there. All right, um, I am on day 184. So there, there's a couple of things I wanted to do. Uh, there we go. All right, so the boots, the legs, and the chest plate. And there goes most of my diamonds, but that's okay. So uh, armor stand. There we go. So I need to make myself an armor stand. How do I do that? <laughs> How do I make an armor stand? Uh, I actually have to look up, like, how to make an armor stand. Like, there's, there's so much stuff in this game that I have to look up how to make things. Armor stand. Oh, okay. So... Like, th there's a lot of, like, historic places nearby that, uh, if you have, like, the way to get there, uh, you can, you can get to a lot of historic places. Wait, how, how do I make, like, smooth stone, uh, stairs? Wait, you can... Hold on a moment. So, apparently there's a ref... Uh, there's some sort of, like... Way of doing things here. Like... <laughs> Armor stand... Alright, how, how do I craft this? Like, the pro the problem with, like... I, I'm, l I'm looking this up on my phone, and the problem with, like, the wikia... Smooth stone slab. Alright, so how do I make a smooth stone, uh, block? Uh, you know what? I will figure this out later. Uh, <laughs> screw that. <laughs> like, so, some of this stuff is just best learned off-camera. <laughs> because I'm like, um, I can't seem to find any sort of, like, convenient picture, and it's just confusing me. Um, let's not bother with that. And uh, I need to get rid of these poppy seeds. So... Okay, so, thing about the composter is you can compost a lot of things, and I happen to have, like, an excess amount of, uh, that. So let's, let's hit up the, uh, farm over here. And finish, uh, the pumpkins. Uh, we also need to check on the cactus farm. So, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
I need 32 stacks of cacti for uh, some of the things I need. So one of the things I do need to get to work on is uh, I need to uh, build, like, a convenient way down to my spider farm. Uh, I'm, I, I need a lot of uh, green dye so I can make uh, these glass blocks. Because I, I like the uh, tinted green glass blocks for some of my projects here. Because I, I use glass to uh, sort of regulate the growth of some of these trees over here. And I make sure to get, like, this specific color out of, like, personal preference. Alright, so this is the iron farm. Uh, haven't been down here in a bit. So, there is that. Uh, the spider farm is for EXP and string. And why why is there why is there no iron in here? Um okay um it's on hard difficulty. Uh, there should be a golem in here. Uh, did my uh... oh no oh no. My zombie despawned. No. Okay. This is a problem. So, now I have to, uh... Find a zombie. Uh, no. Um, okay. So, when I was installing mods earlier, I set the world to peaceful. Uh, to try and, like, fix, a, fix something earlier. And, unfortunately, that killed the zombie. Because it removed the zombie out of existence. So now I need a name tag. Crap. Okay. So, uh, looks like our iron farm is out of business right now. Uh, we're gonna have to do a lot of caving. Crap. Okay. This is actually a problem. I have screwed up my world by installing mods. Gosh darn it. <laughs> Okay, so, in order for the farm to work, we essentially have to, uh, have a zombie to scare the villagers inside. By scaring the villagers, I summon, um, a, uh, what's it called? Uh... By scaring the villagers, I, su I summon a, uh, iron golem. So, I'm actually gonna have to go mining and looking around for, like, name tags. So, there's, like, a massive, like, uh, series of mine shafts over that way. Uh, n not really, but... I, I'd have to show you the, uh, exact way I'm doing things, so we're gonna have to, like, deposit all the things we don't need. And we're gonna go on a hunt. We're gonna head out and get the things we need. And hopefully find a name tag. Uh, the three, the three villagers in there, um, they have an issue. Alright, so now I know I have to, like, go out of my way to fix this problem. So I'll wait till nightfall and sleep before I go exploring. 
So we have to we have to find a name tag and a zombie. The zombie shouldn't be too hard. The name tag, well, that's going to be a problem. So let's go ahead and put these beetroots down. All right. Okay, so the name tag is an uncraftable item. And the name tag also serves a an important feature. Things tagged with a name tag cannot despawn unless they're killed. So it's a very unique case of, like, being an item that's a pain to get, but super useful. And I need one. So we're going to go uh, look for a name tag. Yeah, it, it's like how saddles aren't craftable. So we're going to go explore, like, the endless horde of, like... Uh, can I uh, compost these beetroots? Yes, okay. So I guess uh, beetroots and beetroot seeds are going to be composted. So we're going to go ahead and explore, like, the endless mine shafts over here. And god, this looks so cool with shaders on. Just going underwater. I hadn't been underwater since I added the shaders. But uh, there's a massive, like, cave system over here of uh, all sorts of stuff. Like, there's a creeper right there. And the only thing that really matters is uh, any sort of potential chest we could find. But I am going to have to, like, fend off, like, a lot of monsters. Every everything does look cool with shaders. Okay, this is uh, going down. Oh, that goes down pretty deep. Like, there's nothing in here because, like, all this terracotta, like, replaces all the blocks we would normally find. But... Like, eventually I'm gonna mine up this terracotta for, like, building projects. Alright, um, okay. This leads down into a cave. Uh, I have a very impeccable sense of the direction, uh, just based on the fact that I play, well, not that I play Minecraft, but I grew up, uh, learning how to read maps with my old man. Like, my father taught me how to read maps, and I actually had to use my map making, my map reading skills several times in class. So, uh, he, when, back when I was at community college, so, uh, for a while I went to Ivy Tech, um, and I did get, like, uh, a gen ed diploma from Ivy Tech before transferring to, a bigger college. Uh, one, one of the courses I took was this course, uh, on, uh, Earth science. Yeah, that's what it was. Uh, it was on Earth science. And the guy who taught the class was a, a former surveyor. And he, he had a pretty heavy focus on reading maps. 
Now, I had already known how to read maps. Uh, yeah, a bigger college, and by that I mean a better college. Oh, oh wow. Uh, forgot to, uh... Bring a water bucket. <laughs> Silly me. Yeah, like, like, the funny thing is, it's Ivy Tech is not a bad school, it's just, um, there's a lot to be desired. Uh, it, it, I, Ivy Tech has the issue of, uh, a lot of places expect, uh, degrees from, well, better universities. Oh no, double creeper. Okay. All right, there we go. Knock both of them out. Up, oh, skeleton. And I cannot seem to hit these guys. There we go. And, uh, we circled around. Okay. That's unfortunate. And, unfortunately for me, there's, like, all, all of these, like... Yeah, Ivy Tech is good if you don't know what you want to do. And I, of course, being me, really didn't know what I wanted, wanted to do. Now, I wish... I had known what I wanted to do when I started, but, like, most most kids don't know what they want to do, like, out of high school. And, and that's, like, a fact. Like, most kids, like, they don't think they're gonna graduate from high school. And another thing is, is like, Ivy Tech is a great place to knock out your gin eds. Because those gin ed courses are a pain to deal with. At least financially. Because I saved so much money by doing my gin ed courses at Ivy Tech. Yeah, like, the thing is, is you go into college thinking you want to do something, and then you find out that it's not exactly pleasant. And, ooh, knockback. So we found a chest, but it's not a good chest. We need a chest with a name tag. Otherwise, my iron farm will be kabroke for all eternity. And I need that iron farm fixed. That iron farm of mine? Um. Really need it. Yeah, and, like, another thing is, is, like, there's a lot of, like, mandatory courses for things. And. Like, some of those courses I really didn't need, but I had to take them anyways. Uh, let's see here. There we go. Oh, nope. 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 You can't get me, buddy. There we go. Alright, there is a, uh, spider spawner here. So, the name tag will prevent a zombie from despawning. Uh, once I get the zombie in there, uh, it will pretty much run 24-7. Oh yeah, there, there are some Gen Ed classes that I'm like, 
are completely useless, and I'll never use them, but they were fun. <laughs> oh, we found another chest. Sweet, we found a name tag and a diamond. Nice. Okay. We found the name tag. And a creeper just, like, spawns in right behind me. And best not go that way, because there is a spider spawner over there. Like, it took me, like, ten minutes, but we found a name tag. So, uh, let's lock this so uh, I don't have to deal with, like, fixing that issue later. And, like, I started this world on the hard difficulty, so it's not a big deal. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, name tag achieved. So, uh, like, one of the courses I took, uh, like, my senior year, because, uh, I had to take elective courses, uh, for my diploma. Because uh, elective courses, like, aren't exactly, like, the most useful thing. But you're pretty much required to take some elective courses. And I had to take elective courses in the School of Liberal Arts. Uh, because uh, the School of Liberal Arts requires uh, that in order to graduate, you take X amount of courses outside of your major, but within the School of Li Liberal Arts. Alright. So basically, uh, you're pretty much uh, required to uh, take a course outside of uh, your, your major, but within the same school. So I took history courses as like my filler, like elective classes for liberal arts. Now, I will say this. You will never need to know the entire history of Abraham Lincoln. Without a doubt, you will never need to know. Now, did I have fun learning about the fact that Abraham Lincoln was also a wrestler? Yes! <laughs> Alright, so I need to find, like, one zombie. Just one. Of course, there were also some classes that were just, like, absolutely super boring. <laughs> but, like, what are you gonna do? Like, you have to take the electives. Yeah, a Abe, Abe Lincoln was a lot of things. So, he here's the thing about Abe Lincoln. Abe Lincoln had an issue where... Um, he moved around a lot, so he, ha as a kid, so he had to take a lot of, uh, different jobs. And, and, and one of the things that, like, was, like, a common occurrence for Abe was, like, oh, hey, uh, I'm gonna pick up this random skill... For, like, whatever reason. And this is a, uh... Project... Respiration 3 helmet. Nice. Like, Abe had a habit of, like... Picking up all sorts of, like, random skills wherever he went. And he eventually did become a lawyer, of course. Like... Alright, this is not a normal zombie. Uh, this guy is bigger than normal. Yeah. Oh, there's a drowned over there. That I'm, like, trying to avoid. 
But a Abe Lincoln pulled off like a, a lot of like interesting legal victories in his time as like a lawyer. Like one time he actually got a person off based on like the position of the moon. Uh as like a legal defense. Cuz uh he pointed out that like uh with the light of like the moon uh it would not have been possible to see uh, this person doing something because of, uh, how, uh, dark it would be at the time. Alright, uh, this is actually a Naruto name. Alright, there we go. Like, Iron Golem just spawned and fell down. Fixing the problem. Um, okay, I need to, uh, get rid of that. Um, I need to, uh, make myself some, uh, slabs real quick. To, uh, fix here. Yeah, a Abe Lincoln pulled off, like, a lot of, like, ridiculous, uh, legal victories. But, yeah, the Iron Farm is now back in business. So, there is that. So, let's go check to see if, uh, the golem is dead. So the golem died, and we got a couple of, a couple bits of iron there. So now the iron farm is back in business. And I'm going to need a lot of iron for some of my future goals. And I don't quite want to go to the nether yet. So I think what I'll end up doing is, uh, like, next 100 days, uh, we'll definitely go to the nether. But I, I want to spend a lot more time, like, getting enchantments and, like, working on projects around here before I go to the nether. But the, with the iron farm being back in business, uh, that's one less thing to worry about. So, the next farm we're going to end up building is going to be a melon farm in a similar shape to this. But, uh, I need to, uh... Like, at least make it so that there's a decent amount of, uh... Space in between here. And I'm not sure how I'm gonna do that. I also need to, like, fill in these holes in the ground. And, like, make a walkway for things I need to do. So I got plenty to do.